Hello YouTube, welcome back to day 18 of Sportsmiths. I'm your host Kyle Alexander and you are tuning in to KLA Sports. Now today we're going to focus on the Arizona Cardinals and the running back situation. So without further ado, let's hop right into this video. All right, Arizona Cardinals running back David Johnson has expressed his frustrations with the Cardinals and uh, Cardinals GM Steve Kim said they'll talk the uh, he'll they'll talk to David Johnson about uh, his role in his situation. But he said he'll look at every player on the roster and find out who their core players are to build around. Uh, and over the next two seasons, David Johnson is owed $26.25 million. Um, he's the, currently the fourth highest paid running back in the league. And yeah, I see how David Johnson is frustrated. And at the same time, Arizona might be looking to move on from him. Uh, he's had limited carry. Like he's had limited carries in the last couple games. Like in his last game against Cleveland, he only had three carries for nine yards. Um, he was also what's the name? Uh, he's also dealt with injuries lately. Like um, I believe twenty sixteen or I believe uh, two years ago, or yeah, last season. No, last season he was dealing with the he his season was ended with the injury, and this year he's been dealing with a couple nagging injuries this year too. And, and it's just like, if you're Arizona, it's like, yeah, you've seen what David Johnson can do at his peak, but it's like, you're thinking, is this the end of him? Like, um, what's saying, is he going to fit with the system? Uh, these His stats so far this season, he's had 92 carries for 342 rushing yards and two rushing touchdowns. He's also had 46 targets, uh, caught 30, 35 of them. Uh, has accumulated 366 receiving yards and has also caught four receiving touchdowns. Now, uh, David Johnson, like not too long ago, he was arguably the best running back in the league. And now you're looking at him as like, is he a cap casualty? Or you're thinking, what's going on with David Johnson? Like he's uh, not, performing, not performing well. Or not only that, but like he's not back to how he was. Like he's not... Um, getting a lot of snaps. He's being overshadowed. He's being overshadowed by players like, um, what's his name? Like Kenyon Drake um, and Chase Edmonds. And it's like, man, this guy was, this guy was like one of the best players in the league not too long ago. Now it's like, maybe this is his fall off. Uh, currently, the Arizona Cardinals will have, uh, the Arizona Cardinals will have $68.8 million in cap space in the offseason. And if they decide to cut the uh if they decide to cut David Johnson, they'll have sixty six point eight million. But if they trade him, they'll actually have seventy seven million. So if I'm looking at it, I'll I'll probably trade him. Some teams that I feel could probably use him. Um maybe the Cardinals just swap I mean not the Cardinals, maybe the Dolphins just swap running backs, maybe. I don't know. That probably won't happen. But um you got a couple teams out there that could look for a running back or a serviceable running back. Or maybe just, like, another player would be a one-two punch. Like, maybe um, Saints, if they lost Mark Ingram, they have Latavius Murray now. But I'm just throwing out teams, honestly. But um, we could see a David Johnson trade in the offseason. Um, well, also, he uh, I remember seeing something where they said he won't... David Johnson wanted to be the he wanted kick return duties and Cliff Kingsbury said that he wasn't gonna um overwhelm the running backs or something like that. But um, also you have Kenya Drake coming into the picture. Ever since he got traded from Miami to the Cardinals, he's accumulated eighty seven carries for four hundred and seventeen rushing yards and has got five rushing touchdowns. And he's also caught twenty two he's had twenty two catches out of twenty seven targets. And has um, racked up 130 rec receiving yards. Now you're looking at this, and, it's like, and especially that breakout game that Kane Drake just had with the four touchdowns. If you're David Johnson, you're seeing this is probably not going to look too good. Kane Drake, he's been ser he's been more serviceable to them and available to the Cardinals than David Johnson has been. And you're looking at the, now if you're like the GM, if you're the front office of the Cardinals, you're looking at this saying. All right, Drake is Drake. Uh, picking between Kenyon Drake and David Johnson. Drake is younger. He's twenty five. David Johnson's twenty eight. So, and twenty eight is usually that fall off period, that fall off to, uh, age for running backs. 
Like a 28 to 30 window is usually when they start the decline. Also, Drake is in his contract year, so they're going to have to resign him. But, um, what's the name? But Drake has been playing, he's been playing better. And if I'm the Cardinals front office, I'll, I'll look for a David Johnson trade, maybe for like a, a draft pick. And that will give that will give you them the seventy seven million, bringing some other playmakers, and then you can re-sign Kenyon Drake. So yeah, that's that's some things I would do if I'm the Cardinals. I would just look at that. But uh, David Johnson, this looks like uh, this look like this does look like the end of David Johnson, or at least his time in Arizona. It looks like David Johnson, and also the David Johnson. Another reason the Cardinals might move on from him, maybe he doesn't fit in the scheme. Like before, he wasn't getting a lot of rushing yards or a lot of carries. Like when he played the Ravens, I watched that game. David Johnson wasn't getting a lot of carries. That's because they have Cliff Kingsbury, this night new young head coach who played in college, or he was a coach in college. And now you got the air raid system going up and the um co like coming up. Uh, passing, passing is starting to be the game now. Uh, people are starting to break away from running. Like you still got great running backs. Don't get me wrong. But passing is starting to be more dominant. Like you got these quarter, got these dual threat quarterbacks who can dance in the pocket and throw deep bombs like Mahomes, Lamar, and uh, Watson, even Russell Wilson. So yeah, they gotta kind of have to adapt to the game. Now you got Kyler Murray who can dance around in the pocket, take off if he needs to, and throw the uh, ball. So yeah, that kind of takes away from David Johnson. Even though David Johnson was a good, he's a he was a great receiving back. I just don't feel like he fits in that system. And Kenyon Drake has been, like I say, he's been a better fit. So, yeah, it looks like this is the end of the David Johnson era in Arizona. But if I'm the Cardinals, I'm going to look to re-sign Kenyon Drake, try and trade, or I'm going to try and trade David Johnson first so that, that frees up cap space, then use some of that money to re-sign my young and budding running back in Kenyon Drake. Um, yeah, Cardinals could trade him to a couple teams. I don't Cause, uh, cause it's not really a lot of teams that need running backs, like that. But um, yeah, oh maybe trade them to the Chiefs for um, yeah maybe trade them to the Chiefs for a draft pick. But yeah, if I'm the Cardinals, I would trade David Johnson for a tra for a draft pick, re-sign Kenyon Drake, and then use that money that you gain from the trade to sign other players. Maybe sign another receiver. Cause who knows? This may be Larry Fitz's last year, so he may need to sign another receiver. Yeah, that's what I feel. That's what I feel is the next step for the Cardinals. And the Cardinals, I feel they're a project team. They're still rebuilding. Have a nice young QB and Kyler Murray who fits the mold now for QBs. You want the young QB who can. You want the mobile QB who can dance in the pocket. Uh, o line can use some work, but they have a, a good. They have a serviceable tight end, Charles Clay. They got uh nice. They have a nice budding star in Christian Kirk. Andy Isabella has uh, has the speed. Hakeem Butler maybe he breaks out, becomes that jump ball, deep threat receiver that we've been uh hoping he he becomes. Also, the defense needs some work though. Needs work. Need to work on the pass rush. Uh, I feel the second. I feel the secondary is in a good spot. Honestly, I mean secondary still needs some help. But I feel they're in a good spot with Buda Baker. Uh, Byron Murphy and Patrick Peterson. But yeah, defense needs some work. So the Cardinals are definitely a project team, still re, re still rebuilding. And uh, I feel the first p first thing first step into rebuilding to go back in the playoff contention, trade David Johnson and re-sign Kenyon Drake. All right, so that is it for this episode of KLA Sports. Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comment section below what you would do if you're in the Cardinal. If you're the Cardinals GM, like if you were in that position. Um, also, if you're uh, also let me know if can you if not can you Drake if David Johnson was to get traded, what team you would like to see him on and why. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you'll know when I post. But that's it for this episode. I'll talk to you guys next time.